Hey guys, welcome back to the Trucking Head channel. Today, I got something super exciting for me. I got a new chainsaw. And what's great about it is it's the $85 one off of eBay. It's supposed to be like a steel equivalent to the MS270, uh, I believe it is. And uh, so we're gonna find out what it looks like. Get the box open here. I ordered it off eBay, 85 bucks. Took them a while to ship it. All right, let's see what we've got today. Looks like we got a bar cover with the bar inside it. Well, that's interesting. The manual, I need that. Well, first impression, it's not orange and it's covered in oil. Right there, you guys can see that it's covered in oil. Well, that's interesting. Might be because the wife had it upside down when it got delivered. All right, what else have we got? Got a chain. Well, that's interesting. The engine brake is inside the cover here. The adjuster screws on the outside. Uh, VH or Vepro? V-E-H-P-R-O, interesting. Tool kit, I'm just gonna use more of those. Oil mixing bottle, hmm. Well, that's interesting. A funnel, who uses those? All right, that'll do it for the unboxing. Next, assembly. All right, phase two is assembly. First, we'll throw our log dogs on here. Normally I would put Loctite on here, but I can't seem to find them today. A couple of Allen screws, which my big fat fingers have issues with. Get these things zipped down in here right quick. It's nice to have metal ones. I've got a steel chainsaw. I got the little MS-170 with the steel, and uh, it's only got plastic ones. And the plastic ones work great when you're cutting oak but when you try to cut cedar the bark is slick on it and it's got nothing to grab onto so they're really kind of pointless get these boogers nice and tight because uh running chainsaw has got a lot of vibration okay now this is funky you have to put the chain on first because this clutch is on the back side of it. Never seen anything like that. Then we'll set the bar in here and bring it all the way back. Loop the chain around the end here. You gotta make sure and put the chain in the right direction because you kind of need them cutting teeth to cut, not just get along the top. You gotta get the chain in the back of the bar here. It's kind of. This is kind of funky. Now. The adjuster screw is on the outside of the bar, so you have to get it in there just right. All right, I got it the first time. Can you believe that? These are some tiny screws for such a small, or for such a large bar, those are awfully tiny bolts. Get them on there nice and hand tight. I never claimed that I was a professional. Nice if I work, but I never claimed I was. Okay, we're not going to tighten them super tight. Now we want to tighten the bar up. And the screw is on the outside of the cover. Again, this is funky. I usually like to have it just where I can pull the teeth out, just barely see it. Somebody leave a comment and tell me uh, how tight chain the tight shut. How tight the chain should be if I can talk straight. I give her just a little bit more. I also find the new chain tends to stretch. And so a lot of times I'll run it just a little bit tighter on the first go around. Just to see what it does. All right. And I'm guessing these things are going to have to be super tight since they're such small nuts. Goodness. 
All right, got her nice and tight. There she is. 52 inch chainsaw, assembled. All right guys, now it's time for initial startup. First we'll squeeze the trigger and it's got a little trigger lock right here, that's interesting. Of course we'll flip the key on just for fun this time. Give her a little choke and see what she does. Well that's interesting. impression is uh, it's smoking just a little bit but I think maybe the smoke might be caused from the fact that it's just new or uh, the fact that it had some oil spilt on it so it could be heat causing the oil to burn a little bit wow the oiler is working well that chain is soaked next up a video of cutting something all right guys here we are on the initial cut of the saw we're gonna give her a shot see what it cuts like and uh, oh our friend crazy Russian hacker who always says Safety's number number one priority, but uh, lately he hadn't been saying that. I guess he's not as safe. And so, got my hard hat with my glasses, got chainsaw chaps, genuine steel gear, and a not quite genuine steel chainsaw from China. So let's see how she goes. <laughs> an overview I'm not as happy with it as I thought I was gonna be it doesn't seem to have the huge power you know my, my little 170 cuts just about as good but for 85 bucks can I really go wrong the one thing I did notice was look at how much slack that chain in it chain has in it now I did I did say that I know a new chain stretches and we'll see I'm gonna tighten it back up and cut with it a while longer and see what happens. Thanks for watching the channel, guys. Have a good day.